Have you ever wished you could turn back the clock to relive a moment? Or maybe fast forward into the future? And no, I'm not talking about daydreaming in the midst of your Monday morning office meeting. I'm talking real, hardcore, flux capacitor fueled time travel, the stuff of sci-fi dreams. I mean, who wouldn't want to pop into the past for some Dino spotting? Or zoom into the future for a quick peek at tomorrow's winning lottery numbers, right? In films, time travel always seems like a piece of cake. Hop into a fancy machine, hit a few buttons, and, bam, you're partying with knights or cowboys. However, in reality, it's not quite as simple as playing, pin the tail on the timeline. But guess what? Scientists aren't ruling it out either. Traveling into the future is pretty straightforward, according to our dear friend Albert Einstein. His special theory of relativity suggests that the faster you move, the slower time passes. In simple terms, the universe's fastest treadmill, gravity, can slow down time. You see, if you spend a few hours chilling at the edge of a black hole, when you come back to Earth, you might find out that a thousand years have passed here. That's all well and good, but what about going backward in time? This is where things get as twisted as a pretzel. Scientists have pondered over possible methods, such as a rapidly spinning gigantic cylinder that could twist space-time around it. It's like the straw between your palms, except this straw can take you back in time. Einstein was pretty shaken up by the idea of these so-called closed time-like curves. Trajectories that bring an observer back to their starting point. Despite the head-scratching involved, this concept stirred up further research. And even serious consideration of time travel in the 1980s. One of the pesky issues about time travel is the paradox it creates. Imagine throwing a ball into a time machine, which then hits its past self, preventing its present self from entering the machine in the first place. Sound confusing? That's because it is. It's like trying to get to the bottom of a bottomless pit. There's also a major roadblock when it comes to building a time machine. Most models require negative mass, which is about as common as a unicorn frolicking in a field of four-leaf clovers. The trouble is, without negative mass, our theoretical wormhole, a cosmic shortcut for time travelers, would simply collapse like a poorly made souffle. Scientists and ambitious grad students have been playing around with models that don't require negative mass, but they bring their own complications. Imagine a time machine needing infinite density, something typically found inside a black hole. It's like asking for a feather. That weighs as much as an elephant. Just a teensy bit tricky, wouldn't you say? But hold on, let's not forget about the infamous grandfather paradox. What happens if you go back in time and accidentally prevent your grandfather from having children? This would prevent your birth, and hence, your ability to time travel. It's like trying to steal a cookie from a jar that doesn't exist. Yet, despite these mind-bending conundrums, the scientific community isn't ready to toss the time travel concept into the waste bin of impossible ideas just yet. Some believe that we can indeed voyage through time, paradoxes and all, without messing with our free will. Imagine your intent on tweaking the past, say you want to go back, and give your grandfather a fresh haircut that's so awful, he doesn't meet your grandma. It seems plausible, right? But in this universe, life has a sneaky way of maintaining its order. Maybe you'd find yourself slipping on a banana peel right before your barbering masterpiece. Or your scissors would mysteriously go missing. Perhaps you'd be abducted by aliens with a fondness for human hair. The possibilities are, well, infinite. In 2020, a pair of researchers even worked on mathematical formulas that supported the idea that we can time travel, dodge paradoxes, and still enjoy our freedom of choice. It's like having your cake, eating it too, and then going back in time to do it all over again. Can you imagine the waistline implications? In the end, most researchers seem to lean toward a self-consistent view of history, if time travel is indeed possible. Basically, 
the universe would ensure that everything falls into place in a way that doesn't rupture the fabric of our reality. Like an unseen cosmic director ensuring the scenes of our life movie don't go off script. So, the real question remains. Can we truly time travel, or is it a feat as elusive as a diet-friendly pizza that actually tastes good? While no one knows what the future holds for time travel to the past, we can say no time travelers have come knocking on our doors yet, or have they? With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.